Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Beko washing machine, WM5100W. It makes a lot of noise when it's washing. I think it's the motor brushes rubbing off the commutator. So I'm going to take the motor out and try and skim the commutator ring. Maybe on the lathe, maybe with a file. We'll see how it goes. Let's get it out. There's two big screws on the motor. Pull the belt off. There's a big connector under here, just wiggle it out like that. The motor should pull out like that. It's pretty simple, really. That's the motor name and number. So, looking at the end of the motor, these two black things here are the brush holders for the commutator brushes. And in here, this copper thing is the commutator ring. And if you look in there, you can see one brush touching off that ring. Now when this is spinning in the machine it makes a lot more noise than this but I think the noise is coming from this commutator ring. So let's see if we can get this apart. I've checked the brushes previously and they're okay. They show this browning which I think is for marking and sparking on the commutator ring so clearing up Tidying up that commutator ring could only help. Sometimes there's a wavy spring in this end of the motor. Put pressure on it. Put that in there. Then it should just be a matter of pulling. Well, I can get this off first, probably. No, that's, that's wired on at the other end. So let's pull that out comes out quite easily. That's the taco magnet thing there. Bearing feels okay. Feels okay. It may be a little bit rough but it's not making the noise. So it's just this copper ring here that we're looking to clean up. So I wonder if I can clamp this into the lathe, get it centered somehow and give it a bit of a spin.
So when we get close up there, you can't see the gaps in the commutator ring, but uh, I think I've gotten a good finish on it. Not that there's much of it left. I wonder will it work? I'll try it on the bench first. We'll take it out of this chuck and try it on the bench. So just for comparisons purposes, here's a different motor. And you can see the big black gaps in between each of those commutator bars. This one's quite good and clean. So I'm wondering now how I can chase them out. Because this is the one that I've just touched up and it's become one solid mass of copper. So I'm going to have to try and cut out the gaps between each one somehow. So if you get in here good and close, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just picking it out with a, an engineer's pick tool. But it's not great. See like that? Takes a bit of force by the looks of things. I guess I'm gonna to have to tidy up after this as well with a bit of sandpaper. I've got it in the vise now and I'm just gonna sand it off a bit. So that was 100 paper, and now this is 400 paper. I don't think I'm going to get any better than that, doing it by hand, the way I'm doing it. It's quite smooth to the touch now, and they should all be flat across the top. A little spring washer in. There we go. Okay, it feels okay so far. It means nothing really until we get these brushes on. Kind of hot wire it, red to a brush, and white to a brush so brush to a coil this to the variac this is over here and oh, it's jumping out of its own cell skin there you don't want them touching but it looks like they'll be okay will they I guess we'll find out now if we blow the lights. Let's twist them together a bit. Turn the variac down to zero. Power on. Let's bring it up gently. Okay, let's have a look at the commutator brush end. It's not live right now. So if there's any arcing or sparking, you might get to see it now.
so when I brought the voltage right up there under no load, we're getting a tiny bit of arcing, but compared to some motors I've seen, almost nothing. Let's get it back in the machine. Get this belt back on. You gotta watch out, sometimes these bits here are very, very sharp. And in the past, I have cut myself off them. Sounds okay. So it seems a lot quieter to me. What do you think? Is it worth it? I'm just playing really. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.